Tonight's breaking news, the Supreme Court will hear a challenge to the Colorado State Supreme Court's decision to remove Donald Trump from the state's Republican primary ballot under the 14th Amendment because of his actions on January 6th. They could go so far as to consider whether he could appear on the ballot at all in November. But one Trump extremist Republican will definitely be on the ballot in Colorado, just in a new district. Last week, we met Democrat Adam Frisch, who Congresswoman Lauren Boebert ran away from in her reelection campaign. Congresswoman Boebert didn't believe she could win in the district she currently represents and resides in. So carpetbagger Boebert is now running to represent Colorado's fourth congressional district, where our next guest is running as a Democrat. Joining me now is John Pedora, Democratic candidate for Congress for Congress for Colorado's fourth congressional district. John, thank you very much for being here. You went into this race thinking you would be running against Republican incumbent Congressman Ken Buck, who's retiring. What did you think when you heard Lauren Boebert was now switching to your district? Hi, Jonathan. Thank you so much for um, having me on your show tonight. Never in a million years did I think that we were going to run against Lauren Boebert. Um, to be honest, I thought that it was a joke. I got about 10 text messages over a two-minute period, and, you know, it wasn't April Fool's, so I wasn't sure what to think of it. You know, under Colorado law, you don't have to live in the district you represent. I want to show everyone. Look at this, everybody. Here's a map of Colorado's districts. Lauren Boebert currently re resides in the third district. That's in blue. How would you even keep up with what's going on in Colorado's fourth district there in purple when it's on the other side of the state? Yeah, um, the fourth congressional district is huge. It's a monster. I mean, it's ours just to traverse across it. So her coming from hours away from the other side of the state, it's so opportunistic. Um, it's disingenuous. And we need immediate reform to make sure that this type of carpet bagging doesn't take place. So the, the big breaking news of the night is the, the Supreme Court will hear the challenge to the Colorado State Supreme Court's decision to remove Trump from the primary ballot. We'd love to get your reaction to that. Yeah, you know, I mean, I fully recognize that Donald Trump committed an insurrection. Uh, we also here in Colorado have to respect the ruling of the Supreme Court. So which, whatever they decide, we're going to accept it. But I'll tell you what, my campaign and all the others across the state are fully committed to doing whatever it takes to defeat Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And, John, what message do you have for voters ahead of Colorado's primary? I just want to let people know that uh, I'm an unconventional Democrat. I grew up in the rural expanses of America my entire life. Um, I grew up with my grandfather, who was a farmer. My, my father was a carpenter. My mother was a nurse. I'm a blue-collar manufacturing engineer. I can connect with these folks. And I just want to let everybody know across Colorado that this device of extremism has no place in our country. And it's time for a new generation of leaders to rise up and replace Lauren Boebert and end her political career once and for all. Where, where can people find you? What's your, what's your website? Go to PedoraForCongress.com, and we would appreciate you. Sign up, stay engaged with us, and learn more about our campaign. John Pedora, candidate for Colorado's 4th Congressional District. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good luck out there on the campaign trail. Thanks so much, Jonathan. Take care.